This is the Ricky and Wolfman Show on the Joseph Ivaldi Network. I am Ricky Bearhart. I'm Wolfman. We're glossy, not bossy, believing, not knowing, dreaming, not scheming, reaching into the timeless hurricane, seeking a tranquil eye of truth. What that means is we get together and watch flicks, and we're trying to figure out what's cool, what's not cool, the Ricky and Wolfman way. We've been watching the Back to the Future trilogy. A classic, a masterpiece, I might even say. Many, many people would uh, be more harsh than that, but it's a great time travel flick. And most time travel flicks, you know, we're short on them. There's not enough of them. You You're know right. what I mean? You're right. So, without any further uh, uh, dithering or inaction, we're going to get back uh, to the show here. I just, I just want to mention something before we start this... Uh movie again, uh, there was this earliest show that I watched growing up, and it was this time travel thing, it was like, very interesting, I don't remember it, but it was very interesting. Okay. I, I, I mean, I, just thinking of time travel stuff, it was like, many, many years ago on Channel 9, I think. Well, it was probably Doctor Who, or maybe it was time machine, right? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. There have been good uh, time travel books. And as we were exploring also, like, something like A Christmas Carol, yeah. or <clears throat> It's a Wonderful Life, it has the time travel motif embedded in it. Uh, not to get too silly, but that just is. I mean, people get deleted from existence, or circumstances change. It's just not scientific. It's spiritual time travel, but it doesn't yeah. doesn't make a difference. It has the same mode to it. Uh, it has the same theme. Yeah, yeah. The same trope. But anyway, um, let's get to it. Yep. So Doc just showed up uh, with Clara to her cabin. At the schoolhouse. Oh, the schoolhouse. Yeah, that's right. She's a school mom. And Marty dressing like he should be back then. Yeah, well, I like the poncho and the, and the hat, definitely. And Doc Brown is struck in the love. Yeah, it looks like the Thunderbolt. Love that first sight. <coughs> Until you've had love at first sight, you can't imagine it. Yeah, yeah. You can't imagine it unless it happens to you. A lot of people want to say that it's rubbish, but it's not rubbish. When it happens to you, you know. It's a mixture of, like, chemical fascination and, like, Deep time vibe, you know, like like you kind of know someone by a vibe. It's kind of like when you, when I'm like now, like I met her first time somewhere. I'm not gonna say where, but yeah, it's, it's not like necessary. You, you, you know, you you know that there's something about that person that they're gonna be important in your life, or at least you'd like them to be. I think that's the key with Doc is, uh, you know, never before desire, now desire, you know? This is where they're telling about the paradox of history. Oh. What's the word that you have? I thought they don't even know what <laughs> well, he's terror. He's terrorized by his part, not in history, but in the destruction of history, the destruction of the time continuum. That's what he's contemplating. <laughs> he's frightened, wouldn't you say? He's frightened, but. 
I think towards the end of it, end of this trilogy, he comes into the set of his invention. Well, I'd say because he ends up solving his own issues. He did take her uh, out of death, but then he takes her out of time also. Because they're going from point to point in time. It's, it's inferred. I guess I shouldn't spoil the word. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Let's save that for the finale, folks. Yeah, that's right. Season finale of Ricky and Whitman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like how they do this over and over again through the series. And instead of Time is the wheel. His mom coming in and Tara comes in. It couldn't be simpler. It couldn't be simpler. And guess who's coming in? This reminds me of part one. It's instead of Doc worrying, instead of Marty worrying, it's Doc. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 heavens no, you're not disturbing anything. <clears throat> She's literally disturbing the space time continuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Ricky and Wolfman watching Back to the Future 3. Yeah, yeah. He's enchanted, you see? He's enchanted by a young lady. Well, yeah, I guess she's young. I don't know. Younger than he is. Much less time traveling than he has under his belt, that's for sure. <laughs> For the time being, oh, all right, <laughs> all right, there, Cyrano. Do you understand? Uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Yes. It never works that easy. I mean... <laughs> well, usually women nowadays don't want to dance. That's good. I don't want to dance either. <laughs> I'm just saying as far as like the cooperation part. I don't know anything about the dancing. Would you like to... Yes, it'd be great. Wow. Oh, staggering. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's not graceless. Yeah. <laughs> Must be fun. I mean, no, no, it's bad. <laughs> Oh! He's laughing. Why was I doing? Yeah, I remember that. I remember that uh, video game growing up while I was on the uh, Nintendo. It's from it's from uh, a long time ago. I mean, I never saw it in the arcade like he did, but actually that's not true. I did see it from time to time. <coughs> I played I played that game on uh, the Nintendo. I remember. It was a rare one. Ah, oh, there he is. Strickland. I like him much better as the sheriff. <laughs> That's the kind of guy you want as the sheriff. It's unnecessary as a principal, but as a sheriff, this makes a lot of sense. We all were boys. Yeah. 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 He knows not to do. He knows not to give him anything. You know. Yeah. That's what you say to a man, dog. Remember that word. Yeah, there's nothing else for it. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't uh, wasn't that uh, dad? I don't know if it's his dad or his grandpappy or what it is. I I would think it's Strickland's dad. <coughs> well, it's a family discipline thing. It's just something you know is handed down now. Yeah, yeah. In other words, that's not his trip. It's uh. <laughs> Thank you. 
2000